Hello friends, Ajay Vindu here. Warm greetings from Metru Story. Today we will learn about the submandibular ganglion. The parasympathetic root of the submandibular ganglion is made easy using a very interesting story. Subscribe to the channel to learn simple and unique story-based medical mnemonics that can help you ace your exams. Never miss to press the bell icon for future videos. In this video, we will first cover the story. Next, we will have a recap of the story followed by the connection of the story with the parasympathetic root of the ganglion. Finally, we will cover the more details of the submandibular ganglion along with its other roots. Let's begin. The story is titled Raining Chocolate Bars. Right outside a subway, I saw Superman. He was flying low enough for me to see him spitting out his saliva which solidified into chocolate bars. It was raining chocolate bars. It was so tasty that people licked it off of their faces. Disturbed by that very scenario, I walked into the subway to grab a bite. While I was eating, a man speaking Chinese entered and ordered his food. The staff could not understand anything. Huh? So I decided to help as I took Chinese as one of my subjects. Despite the language dispute, everybody ended their day with a beautiful smile on their faces. Well, clearly. Here's a recap of the story. Okay, we're now through with the story. Now let's see how the story is connected to the parasympathetic root of the submandibular ganglion. Subway in the story will help us relate the story to submandibular ganglion. Superman and saliva for superior salivatory nucleus. Face and chocolate for facial corda tympani. Chinese for lingual nerve. Subway for submandibular gland. Subject and Chinese for sublingual gland. This sequence used in the story is the actual course of the parasympathetic root of the submandibular ganglion. We will see more about this later. Last part of the story is the clue for topographical and functional relationship of the ganglion. Language for lingual nerve, which is the topographical relation and face for facial nerve, which is the functional relation of the ganglion. Now let's talk about the parasympathetic root. The preganglionic secretomotor fibers take origin at the superior salivatory nucleus in the pons. It then exits the pons via facial nerve and enters the corda tympani branch of the facial nerve. On entering the submandibular region, the fibers then take structural support of the lingual nerve to finally relay in the submandibular ganglion via the proximal twig. The postganglionic fibers give parasympathetic supply to the submandibular and sublingual glands. Let's learn more about the submandibular ganglion. Submandibular ganglion is a parasympathetic ganglion which serves as a relay center for secretomotor fibers supplying the submandibular and sublingual salivary glands. It is topographically related to the lingual nerve but functionally related to the facial nerve via corda tympani. The ganglion is situated on the outer aspect of hyoglossus muscle related to it medially. Related to the lingual nerve above, it is suspended from it via two twigs. Proximal twig is afferent to the ganglion, while the distal twig is efferent to the ganglion. In addition to the parasympathetic root, the submandibular ganglion also has the sympathetic and the sensory roots. Now let's talk about the sympathetic supply. The preganglionic fibers arise in the T1 spinal segment and relay in the superior cervical sympathetic chain. The postganglionic fibers then form a plexus around the facial artery and without relaying in the submandibular ganglion, they then supply the blood vessels in the submandibular and sublingual glands. The sensory route is via the lingual nerve. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Hey, isn't the story based learning easy and fun? If you found the video useful and creative, then do share among your peers. Provide your valuable feedback. Don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe. See you all soon in the next video. Till then, Take care, stay home and stay safe.